Hey y'all, we're back in the Texas Hill Country. We had to bring our RV back to the dealership so that we could get the slide out repaired. In our last video, we were leaving Alabama heading to Mississippi. Now we're gonna show you leaving Louisiana and heading back to Texas using the beautiful scenic back roads. We're also gonna show you some of the campsites that we found along the way without any plans made whatsoever. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and let us know if you've ever had to put your home in the shop for repairs and how long it took. And look at this beautiful sunset. I love the hill country. What about you, baby? <laughs> Come on, show yourself. <laughs> we start the day traveling from Magnolia, Mississippi to Boyce, Louisiana. We have a campsite booked at Hidden Treasure RV Resort right on Lake Cotill. A lot of people fish this lake for largemouth bass, crappie, perch, and catfish. During this time of year, they start draining the lake to help water the farms, so it's about five feet low. It's helpful to the locals who still need to repair their docks from last year's hurricane season. It's also a beautiful lake and the dogs get to enjoy a really nice sunset. So we made it to Louisiana and Tammy's gonna make us some tuna fish sandwiches. Hey woman, yeah? make me a sandwich. Make me a sandwich. Presto, you're a sandwich. Hey, you drove my home across two states <laughs> so far. It's good to be somewhere. We can good to be somewhere. stretch out and eat something and relax a little bit. For our next leg tomorrow, headed to Texas. Hey, kitties. Cupcake is not a fan of travel days. She does not like riding in cars. We do have our coffee maker available to us. She's got to have coffee in the morning. Priorities, yes. coffee, laptops, breakfast, clothes, and pet food. One of the things that you really appreciate when you're RVing is a good long hot shower. So at this RV park, they have a shower that I'm gonna take advantage of. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Huh. That's well, definitely not anything fancy. <laughs> this is the shower here. Mm. Anyway, I feel very clean today. It's gonna be a good day. Heading to Texas today. Looking forward to getting home again. Cool. So one thing about this Blackstone, and we're so grateful we have it, is uh, because our slide out is not working, we have to pay people to put it out and bring it in. So we're taking it back to the dealership and my stove and oven are in that slide out. So it's sitting right against the, cat, the kitchen, the island. <laughs> so we've been able to use the Blackstone to cook our meals and it's been a lifesaver. I want y'all to see how mistreated I am around here. My wife is forcing me to eat leftovers. I don't even have the good stuff on you. Still got black beans, we got rice, we got a little bit of steak left, and veggies. But yeah, he's really mistreated. Poor me. Me and these poor dogs, we're mistreated around here. Look at him. Jasper, what you doing? Uh. He can't hold his liquor, sorry. <laughs> that thing. We start prepping the RV and trucks for travel right after a late breakfast. We disconnect from the water and the electric. Gets the pressure out of the pipes, it seems to me. And then 
this is easier to unscrew once the pressure's out of there. We secure everything away. We are getting better at packing our must-haves for travel day. We strap it all down. And off we go. I'm ready to go. Ready to go, huh? I'm ready to go. All right, let's go. Yeah. Now that we have done this six times, it's becoming way less stressful to set up and strike camp. As we pull out of the Hidden Treasure RV Park, I'm filled with gratitude by the unexpected beauty of this park. You just never know where you will find hidden gems like these along the road. I mean, just look at the beautiful trees lining the road out of here. Stopping for fuel is not as easy as it is in a car. You have to look and see if you can maneuver in and out. And can you fit under the canopy? Not to mention fuel prices. I'm going to sign up for this for the fifth time. Maybe uh, this time I'll actually follow through and get it going. <laughs> we start our trip towards Texas. The drive between Louisiana and Texas is so amazing with all of the big rivers, the big lakes, and the old bridges. And ever so often, we even see an oil derrick and cows in a pasture. We are from Houston, and we don't like driving on the major highways, especially when pulling our home behind us. So we try to find a back road route. Granted, it takes longer, but we get to see parts of the states that we haven't ever seen before. We stay at McKinney's RV Park in Iola, Texas. It's a bit off the beaten path and was peacefully quiet. There were longhorns in the ranch next door. Yep, we're definitely back in Texas. <laughs> Cleaning up dishes so we can get on the road. The thing that concerns me is how stressful this travel is on our pets. They don't seem uh, to like it very much, but they enjoy it once we get to a cool place. Let's see. How you doing, Ringo? You're doing okay, buddy. Yeah, you're doing all right. I would not like to slide out in. You're looking kind of timid there, buddy. <laughs> and then Jasper over here. We head out early this morning to make it to New Bronzeville's by 4.30 p.m.
We finally made it to New Braunfels. We have been told it should only take three days to fix the slide out. I have packed enough stuff to get us through a week. If it's longer than that, and I think it will be, I will have to go back and get more things from my home that's stuck in a parking lot. So Tammy's getting uh, all the food out of the refrigerator. So we can uh, have something to eat for the next few days. Yeah. Okay. Tater tots. More tater tots. <laughs> Guess we like tater tots. Spinach, butter, my sourdough. Can you start putting these in that down there? So we have the RV at the dealership. They just told me to drop it right here and they're gonna use this forklift to take it away. It's hard leaving your home in a parking lot awaiting repairs. It's even harder dealing with insurance and extended warranty companies. So that's us living out of suitcases once again. she goes. Wishes luck. We're leaving her here. Feels kind of weird to leave your home here at a, in a parking lot. <laughs> uh, hoping they're gonna do us right and, and fix it since we had this issue since the day we got it. Anyway, signing off from New Braunfels. <laughs>